Hi, today is um, Saturday, November 5th, 2022. I'm Jason Shapiro with CrowdedMarketReport.com. Today I was going to talk a little bit um, about, I guess you'd call it a pet peeve with me, um, but the concept of day trading. And the short answer to get to the cut to the chase, which I'm sure not a lot of want, people are going to want to hear or agree with or whatever, but my short answer is don't do it, right? Don't be a day trader, right? Um, not if you value making positive returns in your trading account over time. Um, if you're looking for a thrill, if you're looking for a hobby, um, if you're looking for something to break up your day, okay, then go ahead. But just don't expect to make money over the long term being a day trader. Okay, um, you'll have some days where you make money and you'll feel like, hey, this is the greatest thing in the world. I made X number of thousand dollars today. I barely worked and it's great. I want to do that every day. Um, and that's the dream and it's the dream that will kill you. And I say this, it's really based on experience. I've been doing this for over 30 years. Um, I have worked with hundreds of different traders, hedge funds, prop desks, you name it. Um, and many of those people I would consider to be day traders and out of those people that I would consider to be day traders which I probably call it 200 that I knew uh, that have done this I can think of maybe two who are still around and one of those has changed his ways and the other one quite frankly is on his way to losing whatever money he's he, he once made doing it and the other ones are, are gone they don't trade anymore because they lost their money and it's not to say they didn't have days where they made a bunch of money and even months and even and even years okay um, but at the end they're done they're out and that's really all the evidence you need right is learn from other people and I can tell you that almost every single person I know that that, that attempted this as a day trader um, lost money and is, is no longer trading. So th that's really the best single piece of advice I can give about day trading. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about it. Let's think about the shortest term that there is, which is the next tick in a market and how random that is. What's the next tick going to be? Is it going to be up or down? I mean, it's completely random, right? Whereas let's take the longest period you can think of. Okay, let's go with like 100 years. Um, I think at 100 years, if we're talking about the stock market, for example, it's a pretty high probability that it's going to be up. That's a much more guaranteed thing than the next tick, right? So you're going from the sh now 100 years, clearly you're not going to be around, so it won't matter. So you have to find some happy medium between the next tick being completely random and 100 years being a hell of a lot less random. I personally work within sort of a two to five month time period is what most of my winning trades look like but that's according to my style um, and you have to develop your own style but I strongly recommend not having a style that's so short term such as day trading because it's much more random than, than longer term stuff um, and let's just look at this as an example okay uh, this past week we had the FOM FOMC meeting right and we all know that it started off and it looked bullish and then okay then later it looked bearish and bullish and bearish and, and this is the NASDAQ intraday chart so yeah, this is when the FOMC came out popped up got crushed popped all the way back up got crushed popped all the way back up got crushed very exciting a lot of volatility a lot of movement and what would seem like um, a lot of possible profit but if you look at the longer the daily chart okay here's a daily chart of the Nasdaq this right here okay this day right here was that day and if you look it shows up as as nothing on this chart right I mean it's nothing this one day wouldn't you rather catch like this move here or even this move or this move or this move or this move those are the kind of moves that are going to make you money, right? This one little day to sit here and look at that and be like, it's meaningless. As exciting as it looked on an intraday chart and how much volatility there was on an intraday chart, on a longer chart, it just shows it's just, it's meaningless. You're trading a meaningless move and you're 
freaking out and most likely losing money doing it. And it's a complete waste of, of time um, and a waste of money, more importantly. That's really the best advice I can give about day trading. Focus your time on learning how to not day trade and learning how to catch bigger moves, right, uh, than that. Um, and that's really my message. And at crowdatmarketreport.com, we focus a lot. Look, we do have day traders on there, and they have ideas, and we have a few um, methods that I believe increase the chances of success in day trading, quite frankly, can help. But I use those more as a way to enter or exit longer term trades. Some people use them to day trade and as much as I tell them not to, they do what they do. I don't control anybody. So there are things that you can look at that can help. But for me, it will help you become a better longer term trader within that short term frame. When I was watching the FOMC trading going on and I was watching, and again on Friday we had the um, the employment report and it was the same thing. Market ripped, then it dropped all day, then it ripped back up, then it dropped the rest of the day, and then at the end of the day it ripped back up and closed near the highs. To me it's a bunch of monkeys chasing tails. That's really all it looks like to me. Um, you have a lot of people out there day trading S&Ps or day trading NASDAQ or whatever, and they're all looking at the same thing. So if you think you're going to have an edge against all these people that are doing the, the, uh, essentially the same thing, uh, I'm here to tell you that you're not. You're just going to join the group of monkeys that are chasing their tails, um, and it's going to cost you. And you know, you might have become a day trader. I know some people became day traders um, back when we were in the middle of the post-COVID bull market. And day trading to them meant, well, oh, they bought a bunch of stuff during the day. It went up and they sold it and they made money. And when, and they would never sell at a loss, right? Because the market always came back. So it was like, well, if you just hold long enough, it'll always come back. Well, we learned this year that that's not the case. Whereas most of those popular sort of stocks that people were day trading have lost 40, 50, 70, 80%. And they never sold because they would always come back is the lesson they learned. And now they're sitting on losses of 50 to 80% in these stocks that are never going to get their money back, right? That's not day trading either, right? That looked like day trading when it was working. And then when it stopped working, they say a short-term trade becomes a long-term investment. Well, look where that got you, right? That's absolutely destroyed people, right? And taking them out of the market. And that's where the whole day trading mentality gets you. In time I promise you and if you've gone through that as I know a lot of people have you have to start thinking about other ways to approach this if what you want to do is be involved in the markets and try to make money so that's my main message about day trading again I advise strongly against it and focus your time and your effort in the markets on finding things that actually can give you an edge where you can get an edge and exploit that and make money over time Okay, so um, clearly any comments, which I'm sure there will be some negative ones on this, because I know there's a lot of day traders out there, but um, comments, questions, more than happy. And if you like what you hear and you want more, please take a look at us on crowdedmarketreport.com. All right, thanks. Have a good week, and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll talk to you soon.